but individual faults and frailties are no excuse to give in and no exemption from the common obligation to give of ourselves. I feel a special obligation to those who share my hopes for this state and nation, who in the past have given me their help and often even their hearts. My views on issues have made some people angry over the years, and frankly, I accept that as the price of fighting hard for my beliefs. And I'm painfully aware that the criticism directed at me in recent months involves far more than honest disagreement with my positions or the usual criticisms from the far right. It also involves the disappointment of friends and many others who rely on me to fight the good fight. To them I say I recognize my own shortcomings, the faults in the conduct of my private life. I realize that I alone am responsible for them, and I am the one who must confront them. Today, more than ever before, I believe that each of us, as individuals, must not only struggle to make a better world, but to make ourselves better, too. And in this life, those endeavors are never finished. 